What is going on guys, DBG here and today we are going to be talking about NBA 2K24 My Team and we're going to be talking about the brand new cards and which of them are going to be worth buying or not. Honestly, the answer for which are worth buying, there's a very good chance that answer is none. But anyway, before you get out to, we get out to, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we can hit 25 and a half K by the end of the day, that would be absolutely insane. But anyway, lads, first of all, we want to start this on like a happy note. Let's start this on a happy, happy, happy note. And look at Christian Leitner, because surely he's good, right? He's free. 88 speed, 84 acceleration, 96 three ball, possible defense. I, I don't think it's the best defense in the world. It's possible. Um, 6'11". And he's got Wenyan Gabriel. Jared... I don't... I like Jared Vanderbilt's release as far as greening. It's just kind of slow. But I'm very quick. It's going to be good. Wenyan Gabriel release. Oh, it's not the best base. That's an awkward release. It's going to be fine because it's on very quick. But it's, it is a normal. This release will be bad. Is the same as his normal card? Yeah. He does get Jordan Dribble style. He gets the Harden Shuffle. Is he? Yeah, he can Harden Shuffle. He's 235 pounds. He's an interesting card for free. Like 50 games of co-op. If you've got a friend, you can bang that out for four or five hours just on a Discord call, beating the CPU over and over again. That's actually not that bad. So that's our like positive start. Now we're very quickly going to go over these cards right here. Um, and just... On the off chance, you might want to lock in these for one of these. I just That's the only reason I'm going through these. Magic, who cares? He can't run. Doesn't matter about dribble styles. Man can't run. See this guy right here? Magic dribble style was good. This guy right here trips over his own feet with 96 speed. Who gives a damn? He's got a bad release and he can't run. I do apologize if I do pause a few times. I am quite sick. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 98 three ball. Mellow on very quick. Has he gone from Mellow? He's Mellow on quick, yeah. Kept the Booker dribble style. Look, I like this Mellow. Um, I don't know how great this Mellow is going to be. Like, he's going to be good. He's going to be a nice spot of shooter. But, like, I don't know how much better in reality he's going to be. Like, if you're playing in a quote-unquote comp setting, which nobody plays in a comp setting anymore. Like, if you're just playing, like, unlimited and you're not in the highest bracket of SBMM, if you're playing TTO, if you're playing clutch time, I don't know how much of a difference these Carmelo Anthonys make. Um, but he's, again, because he's 6'7 this year. Like, Melo shrunk for the first time. Like, if you guys don't remember, like, Carmelo Anthony has been always since the dawn of time being 6'8 six, uh, six, in this game. Except he's had one 6-7 card last year. One of his cards was 6-7 last year. Um, randomly. And he's now suddenly 6-7. I don't know. Um, Adam Morrison is going to get the same releases he already had. Steph Curry, Jerry West on very quick. Instead of Steph Curry, Jerry West on quick. He's going to have a better dribble style. Um, his size up's pretty good. Because I know this card. Guys who can dribble have cooked me with this card. So he's got a different size up. He's got a different escape. Oh, sorry, the game of the tray escape. Wow. Um, he's got the same behind the back. You get the tray fade on both. Oh, no, they took the tray fade off him. That's wild. They actually took the tray fade off him. There are, I'm not joking. There are some people that are going to be better with this Adam Morrison than this Adam Morrison. Just because of the tray fade. Everyone that I've seen that's good with this Adam Morrison just abused the tray fade. That's crazy. Kobe fades easier to green though, so. While a lot of people will be better than this one, quite a lot of people will also be better with this one because the stats are perfect. No point even looking at the stats. Like, they're 99 everything. Um, Chet Holmgren. I don't like that chat release, even on very quick. Kobe dribble style is pretty good. Leaner's terrible. Um, give me basic over pro three any day. But he can move a little bit, I guess. And... I don't know. If you really want to use a chat, just get the free one. Then we've got Danny Ferry. 94 speed, 90 acceleration, 97 three ball. You give him Torian Prince base with Charles Bassey upper. Like this one obviously had a terrible release. Tori, I don't know what that could be. It's going to be something god tier. Like just knowing what 2K do with Danny Ferry, it's going to be elite. Oh, 
Like with 2K and Daddy Fairy, it always is good. There's never an exception. So that release, I can guarantee you, is going to be top, top tier. I don't know what the Nate Robinson leaner is, but they're giving it to guys, so it must be good. Um, I like Curry dribble style. Some people hate it. I like it. I like it when it's compared when it's paired with the Curry behind the back. I think the two of those comparisons or two of those things paired together are great. Jordan layup package, as far as I'm aware, that's like the best one of the best things in the game. It's really hard to block. So yeah, he's look. He's he's gonna be fine. He's Danny Ferry. Um, Brandon Miller. 95 speed, 94 salary, 95 three ball. He's probably going to get all the same. Oh, no, you did not do that, 2K. You replaced the Ben Michael Moore leaner with Pro 3. I don't even... Why am I Why am I saying you don't do that, 2K? Like, I couldn't care less. I'm never going to use these cards. But, um, yeah, he's fine, I guess. Shane Battier gets his normal release on very quick. Kobe dribble style. He's just going to be a pure lock. Same on boss heel tendency as Bruce Bowen. Uh, yeah, man's just going to... Man's just Bruce Bowen. Literally just Bruce Bowen with a slightly better dribble style. That's all he's going to be. He's Bruce Bowen. He'll be fine. Like, if you get him, it's not that bad. And then what have they done to Psycho T this year? JT Thor, Tara Eason. I don't like Tara Eason's upper, but apparently JT Thor base is... And apparently it is good. Jordan dribble style. Ooh, the MJ leaner. Probably the Jamal behind the back. Um, Literally perfect stats. The only problem is he's 6'9", can't play small forward. Every defensive badge at least on gold. So, with Hall of Fame Moveable Enforcer. I just wish I could get this guy. Like, I would use, I would get... If I could... If I could buy Tyler Hansbrough, I would. He's one of my favorite players. But, um, yeah. For these cards... Leitner's really good. So, that's a positive, I guess. Um, now, let's look at these five. I cannot believe these are the only five we can potentially get this week. 84k for Kirk Heinrich. 6'4", 6'6". 6 6'6 six, six wingspan, 95 three ball, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 88 strength, 97 lateral, 98 steel, can dunk. Not enough defense. For these defensive stats, not enough defensive badges. Um, he, he gets a movable enforcer, though, on goal. 94 feet anchor, clamps, fast feet glove, uh, right stick gripper. All right. All right. Is this just Jason Kidd with probably a better jump shot? KCP Wes Matthews on normal is a better jump shot than Jason Kidd's even very quick. Booker dribble style is good. Normal leaner. No, he's good. He's really good. Wow. This is a great card for 84k. Not a budget card, but great. So Kidd's a little bit better at everything. Other than like standing dunk, it's like in everything that matters, it's like plus three, plus two. And then badges wise, um, you've got more on. Well, you've got like one more on Kirk Heinrich. So badges wise, like they're very comparable. Kid obviously is gonna be a little bit better. Kendo's neither of them got on ball steel. So like it's he's basically just kid. Which is great. Which is a great card. Yeah, I'm I'm very, very like this would be a guy that I would look to pick up um today, honestly. Yeah, like, if this was back in the day, if you didn't lose 60% straight away, I would consider, like, picking up Kirk Heinrich and using him, because he's nice. And we got Joe Keem, Noah, 88 speed, 84 acceleration, 79 three ball. Perfect defense stats, and his release was really good. He can get range. 79 three ball can be boosted. Defensively, got every single badge. A move of force around half. He's one of the best defensive centers in the game. Like, his release was class on um, this card here, because they gave him, like, default small. Oh, you're joking me. You're, you're joking me. They changed his release. They changed his release. Why would they change his release? It's not like the fall big is a chest pass either. The fall big is releasing the ball from here. The default big upper releases the ball from like here. So I'm like, that doesn't look like no, no true chest pass. If they wanted to make the release look like Joakim Noah's, I'm all for that. Because this clearly does not look like Joakim Noah's. The fall small. This is... Fall small Robert Covington. They've given this like three to him of Lotte. Doesn't look anything like uh, his release. But this doesn't look anything like his release either. The difference is that this is unusable. He would have been one of the best power. He would have been Tyson Chandler. But slightly better, probably. Because, actually, no, in B dribble style. He would have been Tyson Chandler. I don't know why it's a slight better. He was going to be Tyson Chandler, but 2K had to go and give him an unusable release. Steve Blake, 6'3. So he's, he's grown an inch. 
I don't get what's going on. Like, Dr. J has grown an inch. Steve Blake has grown an inch this year. Carmelo Anthony has shrunk an inch. Like, what is happening? Kevin Love has shrunk two inches this year. Like, I don't know what's going on with heights in this game. He's the worst version of Kirk Heinrich with no defense. Yeah, he's literally just the worst version of Kirk Heinrich. With Vando Ubre release? This is worse Kirk Heinrich. This card bored. Like, this card's unusable. He stinks. He absolutely stinks. Ray for France, 105k, 87 speed, 84 acceleration, 93 ball, 88 lateral, 88 steel. Um, Speed's pretty good, thankfully. Defensively, I'm guessing. Does he get movable enforcer? Doesn't get 94 feet. Doesn't matter. You can put fast feet on him. You can put challenger on him. It's Hall of Fame movable enforcer. All right. Like, we might actually be looking at a finally a center better than David Robinson. Not like Dino's probably a power forward. Like, I think David Robinson's finally out of the uh, the best team you can buy, which is crazy. Like, personally, um, I will say, like, I'm not high on um some guys like Wemby. I think D-Rob's better, but, like, and Splash, yeah. Brandon Miller had a top three fade, and he was changed to the worst fade in the game. Yeah. Uh, LaFrance is going to be good. And we got George Niang. 6'7", six, 6'9", six, wingspan. 86 speed at 6'7". I don't... This release isn't that good. With LeBron dribble style. Did you really give us Jaime Haquez Jr. with a couple of hops? You gave us Emerald Jaime Haquez with some more badges. You're acting like there's that much of a difference between these stats. I know it says 227. You've got... um, What's it? 51 in just this total. Standing dunk, which obviously makes a little bit of a difference. Then you've got, to be fair, Hackwise is better passing vision. Pass accuracy is fine, at least. Acceleration is that that literally doesn't do anything. Um, plus 11 in all the jump shots. Okay, he's a better shooter, I guess. Same on defense. Same, basically the same speed. You gave us a slightly better Jaime Hackwise Jr. And you're making us pay 84k for him. That is a joke. That is a joke. This lock-in better be like 100k. VC. Like, the total for these is, let's say, 40k VC, 40k, it's 80k VC, 130k VC, 165k VC, and 205k VC. 99k VC, 2k. I know you're not watching this. The only way this is not an absolute unmitigated disaster is make this 99k VC. So at least people might say, oh, let me just lock in these because he's not bad and he's not bad and oh, I'll get myself an Opal. Because all the Opals are, uh, he kind of sucks, but like the rest of the Opals are good. These dudes are bums. They're legitimately bums. Noah could have been good if you didn't change his release. And it's not even like you gave him a Joakim Noah release. It still doesn't look like Noah's release. Oh, lads, lads, lads.